You know, people usually ask me like, Saiku, why are you advertising your Discord server so much? Man, it's because our community is so beautiful. You as a newcomer to the Discord server in the community, you're new, you just joined yesterday and you're like, guys, what's up? And they just answer, the ceiling. <laughs> No, but hey, what's up guys? It is Saikuru Sam here and welcome back to the channel. In this video, guys, we're going to be talking about Unity in 2018. And before we get started with anything, I just want to note that we're running a big giveaway for five copies of a Unity asset right now. And to join, you can simply click the link in the description or in the pinned comment down below to join up on Discord where it's actually hosted. And if you're new to the community and you're new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you're enjoying this content to see more of these type of videos. Now back on topic, 2018 has started pretty hectic for the industry with Unity 2018.1 being released in beta and now people are wondering, well, is it actually worth using Unity in 2018? I tried the latest version of Unity beta, which was 2018.12 and tried it further after my initial video, which will also be linked below in the description. I really like it personally, I've always loved Unity, so there might be some kind of bias in there, but let's be honest, Unity is taking the industry by storm. In fact, I strongly I strongly believe Unity will be one of the most feature-rich game engines by the end of this year. One of my biggest reasons that leads me to thinking that is basically because Unity is already implementing a visual shader designing tool which is available with Unity 2018.1 beta already. I feel like that's a hint towards support for visual programming in the future as well and that's you know that's something that a lot of people are about. A lot of people are choosing Unreal Engine or any other game engine over Unity because there is visual programming because there are designers and they're not coders they don't want to really spend that time learning coding so if unity actually implements something like that in 2018 i believe it's going to be a huge win for unity and there's really no reason for them not doing it because i personally stick with coding because i'm a coder i'm not a designer and i don't really like blueprints in for example ue4 i really do desire coding but i also know that a lot of people do desire programming in visual by using ue4's blueprints etc and to be completely honest with you guys I'm not really good at like shader programming and scripting and all that so I really desire the new shader designing tool instead of actually coding the shaders so I see where these people are coming from when they actually ask for visual programming. Now they are also reworking the architecture which will bring us the developers more power for our games while maintaining more stable performance on all end computers. And this is a huge bonus honestly because this means that we're going to be able to improve our visual quality for our games and not lose any performance from these higher-end graphic cards. If you guys are feeling that the ground is a little bit shaky right now, don't worry, it's not an earthquake, it's just the fangirls coming for our graphics talk. Ah, there they are. So honestly, Unity has come a long way so far with the graphics and people have been more than satisfied with the last few years in terms of visual quality. And to be even more honest with you, Unity has always had good visual quality, but people never really knew how to put Unity to its limits in terms of graphics. And that fact, combined with the fact that Unity has been the longest runner in terms of a free game engine publicly available for everybody, has started a storm which pretty much resulted in people blaming Unity for having bad graphics. Because here's what people pretty much did whenever they were new to game dev. They took Unity because it was the only free game engine available for the public, which was also supporting 3D. And then they made a terrible looking game because they never knew the power that Unity was capable of pulling. And then they just released it and it looked terrible. And then, you know, a few YouTubers, streamers, etc. played it. And people were like, wow, this game actually has terrible graphics. What do you blame this on? And the game dev doesn't know about graphics. So he's just like, eh, Unity sucks, I guess. And this is actually where the root to this problem lies. And if you guys ever hear people blaming Unity for having terrible graphics and just simply blaming Unity but not themselves, don't listen to them because they clearly have zero ideas on what they're talking about. And I'm not just pulling that statement right out of my pocket. I'm literally stating a fact here because if Unity actually had such terrible graphics such as people claim, then it would not be the most popular game engine out there. A lot of people also use Adam Movie to its defense, which I completely understand. But now, let's be honest to ourselves here. We have to talk about the Book of the Dead. That thing 
it's just straight up gorgeous. I was so sold when I saw that. And if you guys ever need any more proof that Unity's graphics are actually good, you can go ahead and watch my level designs that are also posted on my YouTube channel. I need to add the revenue anyway. Yeah, but honestly, it's just a perfect example of how much Unity actually can handle with physics, graphics, and design-wise. I would also like to mention that I was planning to make a video where I analyze that video and look at graphics, level design, etc., and all these resources and factors, and give you guys tips on how to do such things. So let me know in the comments what you think about that. And I mean, honestly, for the graphics part, I don't really have any more to add on to that. Like, if you have anything by yourself, let us know in the comments. But I don't personally have anything because the graphics are good. They have been proven to be good. Just look at these demos that were created by Unity Technologies demo team and also some level designs for me. <laughs> so my final suggestion for you guys here for the graphics part only is the fact that if you hear people that are saying, hey, don't pick Unity because the graphics are terrible, just run. Run away and don't look back because there's literally zero reasons for you to spend time with people who can't even correct their own mistakes. Now we're going to talk a little bit about coding also. So Unity recently also removed Unity Script, which was more famous for being known as JavaScript. And they are now putting a lot more focus onto C Sharp. This started a little bit of drama in the community especially since a lot of people or actually not a lot but some people still use javascript because they were going legacy but this means that we're getting more resources to use with c sharp such as updates to the api and many more features to be added throughout this year such as the documentation etc and honestly i think that it's a good thing that they removed unity script or javascript or whatever it's called because it, i mean i started with javascript and i was a little bit sad i'm gonna be honest i was a little bit sad when it actually got removed because you know it's something that i started with it's literally my childhood because I started when I was 11 or 12 or whatever. But it's still something that is obsolete now. Like people have moved on and you have to move on as well. But the main reason I'm bringing up this point for you guys right now is because Unity Technologies is also implementing C Sharp job system into Unity, which will make it easier for us, the developers, to write safe and multi-threaded code and increase performance. And all these features are being implemented into Unity, especially the C Sharp job system, because they skip now bothering about a dead programming language and just focus on what the vast majority of people use for their games. And before we conclude and end this video guys, let's get into a little bit of level designing as well. As you guys know, I also started my YouTube channel with level designing in Unity, and I picked Unity for doing such things because I knew of its power and ease of use, but honestly speaking, I didn't really know it packed this much power. From my perspective, designing is super simple in Unity, although it will not hold your hand throughout the process. What I mean here, for example, in UE4, you get standard post process effects added to your scene automatically when you create one to make it easier for you to focus on the designing part. In Unity, however, you have to work on the post-processing completely on your own. And don't get me wrong here, it's very easy to add and actually modify the post-processing, but to find the value that fits your scene, fits your suits your game in general, is the challenging part. But in my opinion, it also makes it all better because this allows you to have more, much more control over your scenes and blending in all your props and game objects with the post-processing so that nothing really sticks out and you have to walk into the engine settings and change up everything from there. Those are pretty much my two cents about this topic and now I want to know what you think about Unity in 2018. I want to first and foremost know if you're going to use Unity or if you're not going to use Unity and stating the reason to why. Maybe it's the graphics, maybe it's the fact that there is no visual programming yet in Unity, but let us know in the comments as always. Hey guys, don't forget to join up on the giveaway right now and speaking of which, I am also running mini giveaways on my Twitter from now on and also in my Instagram. So make sure to follow me there. The links will be in the description and in the pinned comment as per usual. So you can easily find it from there. And now guys, with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed your time. Once again, let us know in the comments what you think about this topic. It's very important for you to be heard as well. And if you guys want to see more of this type of content where we talk about game dev, game engines, in the games, and even make some asset reviews, tutorials, and C-sharp, etc make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and turn on that bell notification so that you join the notification squad so you don't miss out on the content because youtube sometimes doesn't send out notifications to regular subscribers now once again thank you so much for watching i'm looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say about this in the comments so i will catch you either there or in the discord server see you guys bye bye